What you have seen so far is really the theory and operation of a basic AC generator. But our purpose was to explain the principles of operation of a DC generator. To get direct current, we will attach each end of the conductor to a segment of copper forming a commutator. Now our machine is a DC generator. The commutator rotates with the loop. Stationary contacts, carbon brushes, ride on the commutator segments. They provide a means of connecting a meter or any other load to the generator. The loop of a conductor, wound on a rotor, and the commutator are referred to as the armature. As the loop revolves and the EMF in the conductor reverses polarity, the connections to the load are also reversed and the current flow will maintain the same direction externally. Represented graphically, the output amplitude still varies. The DC is in the form of pulses. It is a pulsating direct current, or PDC. The pulsation from zero to maximum, twice for each revolution of the loop, is called ripple. This ripple can be reduced by adding more loops and more commutator segments to the existing armature. Two loops at right angles connected to four commutator segments provide two outputs instead of one. These outputs are 90 degrees displaced or apart, which combine to smooth the DC output. However, even with two loops and four commutator segments, the rectified curve is still somewhat irregular. By adding magnets, we increase the number of fields cut by the armature. As we increase the number of loops and commutator segments, the variation between maximum and minimum value decreases. This, in effect, tends to flatten the DC output. Practical DC generator armatures have a great many loops wound on a rotor. The field is composed of many electromagnets. Together these factors tend to create an almost pure DC output. 